Auto IM508 clone bins, 7G Tronic Gearbox TCU with Godiag GT107. Hey there, EV fans. Before we dive into today's electrifying video, make sure you're all set. Hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, and drop a comment below. And trust us, you want to stick around until the very end. We've got some exciting things you won't want to miss. How to renew and clone a Mercedes-Benz 7G Tronic TCU using Auto IM 508-IM608. This tutorial explains the step-by-step -step process to renew and clone the transmission control unit, TCU, of a Mercedes-Benz 7G Tronic gearbox using the Auto IM 508 or IM608, paired with the Godiag GT105 and GT107 adapters. The example involves a 2010 Mercedes GLK 350 after replacing its transmission. Tools and equipment needed. 1. Auto IM 508 or IM 608 with XP 400 programmer. 2. Godiag GT 105 breakout box and GT 107 transmission adapter. 3. Power supply, e.g., jump pack and alligator clips for connections. 4. OBD cable for vehicle connection. 5. Optional. Resistor for combust termination, 120 ohm, built into the Godiag GT107. Preparation. 1. Setup connections. Use the Godiag GT105 and GT107 adapters for connecting the transmission module. Connect power using alligator clips to a jump pack. Follow the wiring diagram in the Autol IM508 slash IM608 software to connect power, ground, can high, and can low. 2. Can termination. Activate the 120 ohm resistor on the GT107 by pressing the built in button. Step by step process 1. Backing up data from the original TCU. 1. Open the TCU tool section in the Autol software. 2. Read the original TCU data including VIN number, TCU coding, and key information. 3. Save the data file and back up the coding for safekeeping. 2. Connecting to the donor TCU. 1. Set up the donor TCU from the replacement transmission, as per the connection diagram. 2. Back up the donor TCU data to confirm its VIN and module information. 3. Save the donor TCU data file for reference. 3. Renewing the donor TCU. 1. Select the Renew TCU option in the Auto software. 2. The system will calculate and display an erase password. Once the password is obtained, proceed with the renewal process. 3. Successfully renewing the TCU erases old vehicle data, making it ready for reprogramming. 4. Writing original TCU data to the donor TCU. 1. Select the Write TCU option. 2. Choose the file saved earlier from the original TCU. 3. Write the data to the donor TCU. This step includes transferring coding from the original TCU, writing the original VIN number to the donor TCU. 4. Confirm the VIN number by reading the TCU data again. If the VIN does not match, manually enter it using the write VIN option. 5. Activating the donor TCU. 1. If the donor TCU shows no activated, select the Activate TCU option. 2. After successful activation, read the TCU data again to ensure all settings are correct. Final checks. 1. Disconnect the cables and reconnect the TCU to the transmission in the vehicle. 2. Reread the TCU data to verify that. The VIN matches the original. The TCU is activated and ready for use. Conclusion. The donor TCU is now cloned with the original TCU data, including VIN and coding, and is fully operational. This process ensures seamless integration of the replacement transmission into the vehicle. By using the Autol IM508 IM608 and Godiag GT107 adapter, cloning and renewing the TCU becomes an efficient and straightforward task. Thanks for riding along with us, EV lovers. If you enjoyed today's journey, double check that you're subscribed, smash that like button, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Keep those batteries charged, and we'll catch you in the next video.